Well, here we are, May 16th, spring into summer. Let's have a little walk around the plot. So this is the pretty bit, but of course um, it's not pretty because all the uh, bluebells and the flowers have already died. So um, I've put in some sweet peas that I've brought on in the greenhouse. And of course all the bulbs that were growing in my pots, um, they've all finished now. So I'm just going to let them die back and then decide what to do with all the pots. The cherry in the pot, it's loaded with cherries. Let's go on round, let's have a look in my cold frame. I've now put in uh, three melons, em emery I think, I think that's what they're called. Um, I've pulled the last couple of beetroot that are going to be any good. I think those beetroot look as though they're going to go to seed. So I'll probably pull those and, and, and eat those now as well. So I mean, patio, patio areas got nothing much in it at all. I've got one hanging basket and it just needs a clean up. So I'm not going to show you that. And then in my tea room, I've got, I've got a bit of colour because um, that, that, that's basically it. And that all needs to tidy up as well. Um, so let's go and have a look in the greenhouse. Obviously at home I've got lots of stuff. So we could just cut out and we'll have a look at the green ace at home. Oh, I've got a few things still in the warmer uh, propagator. Um, but uh, what have I got? I've got some runner beans. Well, all mostly runner beans actually. Oh, and I've got some parsnip that I put in here and just to get it to sprout, get them to sprout. So let's look in the green house now. It's just starting to rain. Oh, we've got lots in here. Let's have a quick swish round. We've got, we've got squash, butternut squash. Um, and we've had a snail eating me some flowers. Um, some more tomato plants, lots of sweet corn. These are swift. They were very successful last year. Um, Lots more, oh I've got some sweet peas, some sprouts, oh, lots of sprouts, <laughs> I've got parsnips in tubes, even though I'm bringing some on or I'm trying to um, culture some as you saw in the shed, because in the tubes they come up alright but they're all in different rates, so I thought if I was spraying them first um, oh, lots of sweet peppers and chilli peppers, more peas, more sprouts, um, on the top shelf melons, I'm really giving it a good go this year with the melons because last year they were very successful, um, and that's about it, oh I've oh, got the, the, the green bush um, courgettes, just the two, um, Oh, and, and some gherkins. Oh, and in the ground I've got two tomato plants. Looking good. In fact, there's a flower on one of them. That's it. So, let's go back to the allotment. There we are. We're back here now. Um, in here, all I've got is a couple of courgettes, which I'm just hanging on just for a little bit longer. Um, and then I've got... Oh, there, I've got... A, um, and asparagus that I potted up last year and just in case that they weren't successful here and there was a space but it, it, I think the lot I, I sowed here um, have, have worked and they're all, they're all there we'll see that in a minute um, and then I've had another attempt at grafting a grapevine which looks, to, looks like it's failed um, and I've also put in a couple of cucumbers in here um, but that that is it for the green ace here but I'm all ready to start well when I've had a tidy up to start sewing up right let's go ring the plot then I've um, I've got some 
some pansies um, in in pots and trays, which I'm hoping, which I'm going to use to uh, keep the plot looking attractive. Um, there's a few lettuce plants, but those two beds there, which are going to be lettuce and stuff, there's nothing, nothing there. Um, they just I've prepared them ready to go. My sweet peas are showing good here. Some of those were self setters. Um, I wasn't going to grow sweet peas here again this year, but because some of the self setters came up, I've left them, and they seem to have survived all that frost that we've had. Then my strawberry bed. This is the last of this strawberry bed. It needs weeding. That's my next job. Um, then my next bed is my shallots are looking good. Um, I've put some sweet corn out now purely because we've got a weak forecast of, of um, a mixture of sunshine and showers. So I've put them, I've put my sweet corn out and I'm going to grow in amongst the sweet corn um, a couple of pumpkins. Then I've got some onions going and they're looking good, looking healthy. My carrots in the frame, they're looking good. Um, um, and then I've got the this sun trap that I've built that um, and I've put a, I've put a t one tomato plant in there at the moment but I'm going to put another tomato plant alongside of that one and then there's going to be melons in there right peas in the next bed are looking really healthy I mean, let's go around the end I've got some leeks growing there they were put in cool fortnight ago I think I'll just put them in as small plants and um, I'm going to sow, uh, sow another row then I've got a row of parsnips I've got a row of uh, beetroot now, all of these were put in as small plants um, French beans they're looking like they've survived the, the cold wind we had yesterday then I've got some onions, these are for spring onions, but they're also craig, so they will go on and make big big onions. Then of course me nice healthy looking peas and and I've prepared that was my spinach bed and I've dug, dug that out ready for, for sowing bits and pieces. Um, so the, the whole of this bed is bits and pieces or smaller seeds for sowing. Um, then I've got me Grapevines are all showing. They've even got grapes on look already. Then, oh, let's go back over. Um, I've, whenever I've had a potato, a self-setting potato, a volunteer potato, I think they're called, I've dug them up and put them in pots. And they're looking, they're looking okay. <laughs> so I've stuck them alongside these grapevines. And of course, I'll be able to tip them out for new potatoes. And this is the new bed of asparagus. I've got 100%. They've all come up, they're looking really good. There you go. I'm well pleased with that. I'm well pleased with that. There's my sun trap. That is going to be gherkins, melons, and tomatoes. And there's more, more um, potatoes in buckets. Then I've put a compost heap on my raised bed. Um, and I've done that so that um, each year I can move the compost heap, giving me um, a, a, a nice bed that's had a compost heap on it and nothing growing in it for a whole year. And there's some really healthy looking bees that I'm growing alongside of that. Right, and a tomato plant all on its own, and that's because last year there was a there was a pepper, um, another one, there was a pumpkin growing in there, and I thought, well, let's use the space. Right, more peas. Um, what I've done is I've sown me peas um, a few at a time, but I've done them at sort of three week or four week intervals. It's so that I could have continuous fresh peas. And then that is also my marrow bed, but for some reason, the one in the, under the bottle there, He's not doing too well, um, but the other one's doing fine. So I might dig that one out and put another one in that I've got home with the peas. I've got a feeling it got dry. Um, it may be the cold weather, but I think it's more likely that it simply got dry. Right, let's move on to the asparagus. We've been picking this. It's looking good. 
it's just doing good. It, it's been going, I, I don't know how long this, I've had this bed for, but it's been going tremendously for, for many, many years. And then we potatoes in the bath. Um, <laughs> they're just about surviving. I think the truth is I've let this get dry. But phew, that's life, isn't it? <laughs> um, and then the blueberries, they're looking good. We've got flowers on them. So hopefully we've got blueberries coming and my rose bush is looking healthy as well. I'll give that a good pruning this year. Then my plum tree, this is the first year when I should be able to pick plums because this is, this is its third year actually. Last year I had plums, I only had half a dozen, but some nice person helped himself to those. Himself, herself, their self, helped herself to those. So this year um, I've got something planned that hopefully will deter them from picking my plums. Once again the grapevine and that's just a spare space there that needs digging. It did have celery grown in it and I'm trying a celery that I picked. I picked all the shoot all the all the stems of it and left the root in and it's regrowing. And then next to that I've got perpetual leaks. Okay, so moving on, this is, this is me um, Chardonnay and um, Cabernet. Um, and once again, it's got grapes on it. It's looking good. So move on, this is me um, Brassica bed. And I've put in two uh, purple sprouting, two all year round cauliflowers. Um, oh, two cabbages. And then in between them, I've put some, I don't know if you can make a, what I've got there, I've put in a parsnip in a tube, and I've put, I've just put four in those, four of those through, they're, they're toilet roll tubes, just to give it a go. And then of course I've got the, hopefully, the um, French marigolds to keep the white fly off. There's, my strawberry bed is doing good. Let's go closer. The strawberries are looking healthy. I wasn't going to let them have strawberries on them this year um, because it's their first year and I want to turn this into a proper strawberry bed. But then I thought, ah, sorry, there's, there's flowers on them. Let's go for it. And the garlics are doing very well. Those are jumbo garlic and they look big just like jumbo garlic. Then the fig tree, remember I said about the figs, I should have picked them off. Um, I really should have. But it doesn't matter, cause, because look, we've got new figs coming. So I need to go around there and just take off all these old ones. I don't, I can't see that they're gonna be of, of, of any use. So, um, and then all my fruit bushes are really looking healthy way through here they're loaded with red currants and black currants and I've got gooseberries on me gooseberries let's have a look at me gooseberries there we go gooseberries on me gooseberries so let's go back round to broad beans they had black fly oh, you can just see some there look and I sprayed them with my own garlic water and it seems to have worked not totally but it seems to have worked. Um, the spinach is now going to seed. And once again, I've, I've done these at four week interval, so I should have a continuous supply of, of, um, of beans. And I think, there we go, we've got beans coming there. Look. There we go, broad beans. So there, one of those is ready for picking because we pick them when they're quite small. Let's go to the wife wild flowers um, the it looks to me like burridge is coming up all as volunteer burridge um, and then I've put various flowers through here to um, for the bees and I've got a whole row there of um, I think they're Russian giant sunflowers I did put in there some seeds of hope that um, I was given from one of the shops. Ah, one minute, let's go, 
down here um, and the snails love them and they've eaten them all off there's, there's a snail there look or a slug they've eaten them all off never mind and potatoes these are my late potatoes they're just beginning to show now so they're just showing then there's my spinach which is going to seed so that are getting picked um, and this bed totally it's going to be a squash bed I've started digging and I've put in a few sweet corn um, to give them shade um, and then my strawberries these are the just add cream strawberries they dried out during the winter and then they got they got knocked by the frost quite badly but some of the plants have survived which I'm quite happy with and the pear tree is loaded with pears then my let's go round to the now here's my main crop potatoes um, and they're all just showing my earlies are, are well on they're, they're really looking good I'm ready ready for earthing up let's go and have a look at the peach tree oh do you remember my strawberry bed that I built strawberry bed strawberry pot look at that yes that's looking good I'm, I'm well pleased with that um, peaches, they're absolutely loaded with peaches. Whether they'll all mature or not, I don't know. I might find that I've got to go in there and sort out the best ones and pick off the not so good ones. And the cover that I've made to keep the, war the moisture off the leaves seems to, and I'm touching wood when I say this, it seems to have cured the leaf curl. See, now there's some curl that leaf curl there, look. Um, and that's because that one gets wet because it's lower down of course so I'm going to pick those off and, and I just destroy those destroy the leaves and um, the pear, the apple tree is totally loaded totally loaded and I've got a couple more bins of potatoes there um, and there's the artichoke looking good the pond's looking good it needs water in it these they look happy they're all busy coming and going in fact um, both lots because I've got another poly hive over there I had a swarm um, and I think I got this queen as well um, and so now I've got two hives whether we'll keep the two hives here or not I don't know I, I rely on my expert John to advise me on what's best to do and the artichokes again there we go I've got artichokes That's, I didn't realize I had them there until I just looked right now so there's the plot all looking good I'm pleased with it we've had exceptionally dry weather here down in on the south coast of England um, and frosts at night time so the temperatures have been really um, you know from the sublime to the gall blimey <laughs> but um, everything seems to have survived um, yeah looking good so thanks for watching hope this helps and I'll see you probably in the summer bye for now happy gardening <laughs>